Hi everyone. Okay, so today I decided to do, as you can see, a gold look. It can be for a Halloween, a festival, I don't know, whatever. I don't know, anything. But yeah, I was just, you know, trying to get creative, you know, Halloween coming up. So I decided to do this. So let me know if you like it. Thumbs up. If you don't, do not thumbs down. Let me know what you didn't like about it. But just stay tuned if you want to see how I got this done. It was really, really easy. I promise. But yeah, keep watching. Okay, y'all. So first I'm going to be starting off with Half Bake from one of my Naked palettes. I'm not sure which one it's from, but Half Bake is in a few of those Naked palettes. So now I'm just going to blend it out. And the next color I'm using is from the same palette and it's the color called Copper. I'm basically just going in with all the gold colors. I know the lighting is a bit off, but I did not want to not post it because it was a bit off because the main part of the video you can see, but this part you really can't. But just know that I'm using different types of gold for my eyelids. I really didn't focus on the eyelids. I just put it on there just, you know, to have some gold on there because my main focus was my face. So now I'm just putting on the gold and blending it in. Okay, so now I'm going into the color trick from the Naked 2 palette. Well, I'm not sure which one, but I'm gonna put it down below. But that one is one of my favorite colors. I really like how it looks. Y'all be able to see like my real eye look like during my outro and my intro. Yeah, I know I can forget this gold color. I'm going in with my Trophy Wipe Highlighter by Fenty Beauty just to top off the look. And again, I'm sorry about the lighting. I know, I know. But I put my eyelashes on off camera. And right now, I'm going over my lashes with some gold eyeliner. You know, I'm trying to get the gold effect going on. It really didn't give me the effect that I was looking for. But it was gold enough, you know. And I tried to go over it with some glitter. You know, just to get the gold effect going on. You get what I'm saying. As I said before, I pulled off my eyelashes with some gold glitter. It really didn't, I don't know, you really couldn't tell on camera. But um, um, when I look down, I know you see some a little white. That's just the glue from my eyelashes drying. They should be dry soon. But now I'm just adding rhinestones in my tear duct area. And again, I got the glitter and the rhinestones, that little set I showed. I got all that from Walmart. It was really cheap. I need to go get more because I have more looks planned, y'all. So, y'all yeah, stay tuned and give me some ideas, too. Okay, so now I'm about to go into my Fancy Beauty Highlighter again. and put on my cheeks and my forehead area, you know. Get that little shine going on. The goal was to go overboard, and I think I did that. So I just wanted to, I don't know, I just really wanted the gold to really show in those areas, but that's where I was going to, that's where I'm going to apply the foil later on in the video. Now for the fun part, I'm using an adhesive from, you know, from Walmart that came with the four effects that I bought. I would probably recommend using like NYX Glitter Primer because that adhesive stuff is really hard to work with. 
well, not work with, but to take off. So keep that in mind. And some of the foil was getting stuck to my hand too because of the adhesive. So that's why I would recommend the NYX Glitter Primer best. But as you can see, I'm just applying adhesive where I want my foil to go. It's not really a uniform look. I'm just applying it how I think I want it. Now I'm going to apply the stars that came with the glitter and the foil that I bought. And I'm just packing it on there, not in a specific way, just, you know, any way, just so it won't look too organized. You know, it's meant to be unorganized. Next, I'm going to spray my brush with Urban Decay Setting Spray for the glitter to stick better. And I'm just going to apply it in like the vacant areas around the foil and the stars. No specific way. You can really do it any kind of way, however you want to. This part was really unplanned. I just was being creative you know i gotta get those creative <laughs> juices flowing but anyways i'm just using the same gold eyeliner i use on my eyelashes to create like a little triangle under my eyes so that way i can stick the stars onto there or you know a prettier look this is optional you do not have to do it Now I'm using my True Brown K by Kylie Cosmetics and I'm using that as a base before I put down my other color. I forgot what this lip gloss is called but it's by ABH and it's one of the lip glosses but yeah I'll put it down in the description box. Okay, so now I'm going in with my glitter from the same glitter I put on my face. I'm just adding it to my lips.
So yeah, I'm just trying to pack my lip up with the glitter so it can look very glittery and go. But yeah, my camera went off while I was doing this, but you get the picture. Just, you know, if you're doing this, just keep adding the glitter onto your lips. Sorry about that, though. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. I know some of the parts got cut off, but I had to do some of our camera because my camera died, you know. So it's got a new camera. Y'all got to work with me. I'm getting there. But, yeah, tell me if you guys like it. Thumbs up. Don't forget. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, please. But, yeah, you know, y'all give me some ideas, some tips, you know. Anything. Thank you for watching. Bye.